Arnold Wagner calls his invention the Ecomobile. However you call it, it comes real sleek and fast. And it's probably the best combination of the high performance, agility, and economy of a motorcycle and the protection and comfort of a car ever created. When you sit in the machine, it's uh, different from sitting on a motorcycle. It's uh, different from sitting in a car. You have much better view than in a car. You have complete uh, glass canopy and uh, you have no lateral acceleration turns. It's like uh, flying at very low altitude, which every pilot knows is uh, the best thing in flying. He had time on his hands. Swiss Union rules allow a commercial airline pilot to fly only 400 hours a year. The rest of the time he put into what he calls his life's work. So far, he's invested more than 2 million Swiss francs in over 20,000 hours. What has always kept Arnold Wagner going is that he refuses to accept the status quo. You can only invent things if you think differently than uh, the others. Thinking differently involves some kind of uh, antagonism to established uh, structures. That's why Inventors generally are not uh, very social people. Like many inventors, Arnold Wagner has always been a bit of a maverick. In 1967, he designed and manufactured his own revolutionary enclosed aerobatic aircraft. He called it the Acrostar. Before that, he earned a top 10 finish at the World Aerobatic Championships in Helsinki. But there were no prizes for one of his earlier flying stunts with the Swiss Air Force. I was uh, once locked up because uh, I proved to my squadron leader that it was possible to hit an ordinary pistol target with a pistol out of a flying airplane. It's not that he's a mindless thrill seeker. It's just that Arnold Wagner will go through almost anything to prove a point. They thought that it was not uh, playing to the rules. And I thought it was actually necessary to uh, expand on the knowledge of uh, military flying. <laughs> but there's nothing maverick about his approach to the exacting business of manufacturing the Ecomobile at his tiny factory in the center of Winterthur in Switzerland. The Ecomobile is put together with the same care and precision as a Swiss timepiece. That includes its four-cylinder, 100-horsepower power plant the epoxy and Kevlar fiber bodywork with built-in rollover and front-end crash protection and the hand-built gearbox. So far, Arnold Wagner and his team have built 20 Ecomobiles. There's far more demand than he has the wherewithal to supply, despite the price tag. The Ecomobile costs about as much as a mid-sized BMW. Of course, that covers such niceties as a CD player, air conditioning, carpets, and a sunroof. Outside, the slippery aerodynamics reduce the Ecomobile's drag factor to below one-fifth that of an ordinary motorcycle. And then there's a unique wheel stabilizing system which allows the driver to lower or raise the wheels while maneuvering through traffic. And last but not least, the Ecomobile travels at a top speed of 160 miles per hour, which makes it faster and more maneuverable than most motorcycles and sports cars, and maybe even safer. It's the safest uh, two-wheeler ever built, even at high speed, and this has unfortunately already been proved in practice. We had a uh, crash on a highway at uh, top speed, which is uh, 245 to 250 kilometers per hour, and the driver uh, was absolutely unhurt. Not everyone is blown away by Arnold Wagner's creation, in particular the road traffic authorities who have been very reluctant to officially recognize the Ecomobile as a motorcycle. 
if you go to the authorities with something like this, uh, the first approach is always a thing like that is not possible. It's basically not because officials are uh, uh, unfriendly or incompetent. It's just because the more organized the society is, the more detailed are the rules. Whether it's in town or on the open road, the Ecomobile is poetry in motion. Quiet, fast, stable, economical, except for its price tag. And here's a commercial pilot who soars higher on the ground than he does in the air.